Guys, welcome to Game Week 17, Part 1 of the ARB Subscriber League. After the shocks we had in Week 16, will we have any more to follow in this one? We shall soon find out. We start today with Cactus Chaos vs Team Rebirth, Protect the President vs Skeps Goons, huge one that one, Ronaldo Rex Fan Club vs Gentle Giants, Quick Slashes vs the Audi's Melee Team, Big Guns and Insect vs the Gaming Garrison, and we finish with another, another big one in the Top 10 Battle, where we have Toasters taking on Tyosha's Pets. Let's go! First up, in game week 17, we have Cactus Chaos versus Team Rebirth. Cactus Chaos on two wins out of 16 on six points. Team Rebirth on the back of an amazing win loss against the President are currently in ninth spot with 10 wins out of 16 on uh, 30 points. They need a win here to keep themselves in the top 10. It's going to put pressure on both Reapers of Blood and Tyosh's Pets, who are both currently on the same number of points as them. They win this one. Cactus Chaos. Oh, my word. What has happened there? The Skimmer has grabbed hold of the Wyvern. That's not going to end well for him at all. It's not. He's gone down. Cactus Chaos on the left-hand side, by the way. Team Rebirth, the ringed units on the right-hand side here. Cactus Chaos. The, the, the team renowned for having the shockingly bad... The shockingly bad... Uh, Rocky. So far, so good. Can he fend the rest of these guys off? Not looking good, is it, dude? You're going to get taken out here. You've been taken out by the Gorgon. And round one goes to Team Rebirth. Round number two. I would imagine this is going to be a comfortable 2-0 victory. Putting heaps of pressure. Currently, Tyosh's Pets and Reapers of Blood, both on 30 points. Reapers are 10th and uh, Tyrus Respect 11th. Only one round of difference between those two. If um, if uh, Reapers were to win this were to win this week and lose a round in that and Tyrus Respect to win 2-0, they'd be dead level on all fronts, I believe, pretty much. So, not a lot in it at all. This one looks like it's going to be decided pretty quickly. The Rocky's already gone here for, um, for Cactus Chaos. This is looking pretty much a done deal. It is indeed, and this one finishes Cactus Chaos nil, Team Rebirth 2. Second up, we have a big one. We have Protect the President versus Skeps Goons. Both these teams both lost last week, shockingly. Protect the President lost to uh, Team Rebirth and Skeps Goons to a Ronaldo Rex fan club. Protect the President currently in third with 13 wins out of 16 on 39 points. Skeps Goons in fifth on 12 wins out of 16 on 36 points. Skeps Goons, they can win this one. They can get level. They'll be behind them still on round difference, but they win this one 2-0. This will really close us off of the league. There'll be three teams on 39 points should Skeps Goons win this one. If they don't win this one, there's a whole host of teams below Skeps Goons that can join them on 36 points. We've got Protect the President on the left-hand side. We've got um, Skeps Goons here on the right-hand side. This is a big match uh, for all concerned here. Skeps Goons could get caught by a few people. He's got a better, leg a better round difference at the moment. They're getting closed up on now. They've got a few long-range units. They need to take people out quickly. There's too many people coming in, Shirley, here. There's one shotgun, there's one slow-mo left. He's been taken out. And that's round one. Fairly comfortably to protect the president. Round number two. A few of the teams below Skeps Goons, including myself, looking on with interest here. Because if they if he loses this one 2-0, the group below can start sucking him back in. He's still got a significantly better round difference than all of us. But if he loses this one 2-0, and say, for example, I won 2-0, our round difference would suddenly only be two different. And the same points with the same points on the board. Getting a bit close. I mean, Skeps Goons is definitely going to qualify, barring a miracle for the um, Arvs League Season 2, without a doubt. There's no way he's not going to make that unless he has a horrible run. It's not going to happen. And is this one any closer this time? It still looks like they've got more of a chance this time. Can they fend? They can get rid of the Gore Hammer. The Gore Hammer needs to go down. Now it looks like they're going to be pretty screwed. No, oh, they're stuffed here. They're surely stuffed here. They've all gone. Yes, this one finishes. Protect the President 2. Skep Goons 0. Third up, we have Ronaldo Rex Fan Club versus General Giants. Ronaldo Rex Fan Club just outside the top 10 right now with 9 wins out of 16 on 27 points after their surprise win last week against Skeps Goons. They've given themselves a chance of making top 10 still. General Giants currently on 6 wins out of 16 on 18 points. Not going to make the top 10, but can they put up a fight here? Ronaldo Rex Fan Club will need to win this one 2-0 already to get themselves on the same number of points as Reapers of Blood and Tyrosh's Pets. Should Tyrosh's Pets lose, that would actually mean that, that, Ty that, that Ronaldo Rex Fan Club will go above them. Should Reapers of Blood lose by, lose 2 0, they could also go they could go, they'll go dead level with them. So a massive game this one, massive game. Reapers of Blood are in really bad form at the moment, but they're surely gonna come good again soon. Oh man, alive. General Giants are doing quite well here. I mean, am I seeing this wrong? I am seeing this wrong, aren't I? I'm losing the plot, right? No! Hang on, I'm stunned. Okay. I don't know what's happened there. I was paying too much attention to the league table. Gentle Giants have taken round one. Again, we might go on for another shocker, guys. Right, I'll pay more attention this time to the actual goings-on in the game rather than the league table that's also sat here with me. Gentle Giants with a su very, very surprised first round win. I was not expecting that at all. The, I thought the gap between these two was was huge. So somehow, Ronaldo Rex Fan Club took Skeps Dunes down last week. They're not going to surely blow, it, blow all, that, all that good momentum by losing to Gentle Giants this week, are they? 
Surely not. I mean, what is going on? What is going on? Do you know what, guys? They're in trouble again here. They're in trouble again here. If these Commando Rogues can take out these guys before they get too close to them, they're going to lose again, man. What is going on? They're going to lose again. They're going to get done 2-0. Ronaldo X Fan Club beat Skeps Goons and then get taken down 2-0 by Gentle Giants. I'm, I'm stunned. We've got another upset, guys. Week 17 is carrying on like week 16 left off. And this one finishes Ronaldo X Fan Club 0. Gentle Giants 2. What a shocker. Match up four, we have Quick Slashes versus the Owly Demelli team. Quick Slashes on five wins out of 16 on 15 points. The Owly Demelli team on two wins out of 16 on uh, six points. A win here for Owly Demelli team. If they can provide a shocker, we'll get them joint 20th. They'll still be where they are right now in 22nd. But we've got the Quick Slashes on the left-hand side here. And we have Owly Demelli team on the right-hand side. And Owly Demelli, I think I think I wanna, I'm right in saying Owly Demelli team won last week. I could be wrong with that. I think they won last week, but I might be wrong. I'm not going to confirm that 100%. I might be wrong. They're not going to win this one, though, I don't think, because the quick slashes are bossing whatever's left alive in there still. Not a lot right now, I don't think. Oh, the, oh, the crossbow Anako is still alive, and these lot, are all, these lot are all stuck. No way. I mean, I'd, I'd laugh so hard if they managed to, like, win this somehow. We've got a standoff. We've got a standoff situation. For some reason, the crossbow Anako has decided not to walk any closer, and we've got a standoff situation where everybody is blocked behind units. Now, this is quite weird. And apparently Crossbow Anarcho, rather than moving to win this round, is going to stay still. Now we're going to go with this just in case something rejigs. We'll give it a bit longer. Cue me fast forwarding the video five minutes and telling you nothing that actually happened. And this is going to be a draw. Oh, oh, that's contact. Oh, man down, man down, gore hammer down, another gore hammer down, and suddenly, suddenly, is she going to be, she, are they one? Oh my word, and all that took a while, oh my god, Audi's melee team threw four units, I think they were, their four units being stuck, have taken the first round, that's got to be the luckiest win I've ever seen in the ARBS League so far, round one to Audi melee team. Well, without a doubt, I've never seen so many units get stuck behind dead units as we saw there. Audi Zemelli team were looking up against it. There's no way in hell they'd have won that round had it not been for all the dead units blocking the roots of the crossbow Anako. The benefit of, in this case, having a unit that sits well back in that no one could get to her. And eventually, after firing multiple, multiple shots, she, she took advantage and got the win there for them. I don't believe it's going to happen again in a million years. The uh, Hydra is doing all right over here, though, for Audi Zemelli team right now. Hydra is killing off units. He's taking the Allosaurus out. He is now moving in. He could do with taking out the uh, Gorehammer quite quickly. If he takes the Gorehammer out. If he can take the Gorehammer out quickly, he's taking a while. Get him gone. Get him gone. Then you've got a chance again. Surely Audi's not going to win this one. Who was left here? That's him down. The Hydra has got a bit drunk. Oh, no. He's got a Gorehammer on him. The crossbow Anako again. Crossbow Anako must get accurate here. It needs to be accurate. Oh, had a chance if she'd taken him down then, but she didn't. And it goes 1-1. One, one. We're going to a decider. Right, we are at decider stage. That round was pretty close again. Had the crossbow Anako taken down the Gorehammer a shot earlier and survived that, we could have seen this go 2-0 to Audi's melee team. But as we are, as we stand now, it's gone to a decider. I think it's the first one so far in uh, week 17 to actually go to a decider. But we'll see who, who can come out on top of here. The, oh, the Hydra is already down, though, for Audi's melee team. This is not good. The Goro's gone. And this is not looking good now. We've got two Gorehammers and a crossbow Annika who's way further forward than usual. She's going to run, but she can't hide. The Hydra's going to come and chow her up. She's not dead yet, but she's about to go down. She's gone. This final round's been a dominating victory here. And this one finishes quick slashes to the Auli Demelli team one. Fifth, we have Big Guns and Insect versus the Gaming Garrison. Big Guns and Insect on three wins out of 16 on nine points. The Gaming Garrison on 11 wins out of 16 on 33 points. Big game, this one. Big Guns and Insect, unlikely to cause an upset. Gaming Garrison, I would be very surprised if they weren't too strong for them. I, big Guns and Insects, I don't, I'm not the kind of team to get upset. It's only three wins, as I said, out of 16 so far. This should be a comfortable victory here for Gaming Garrison. A 2-0 victory here would put them back up into 6th um, spot. Uh, ahead of me, until I play my match anyway. Well, hopefully I'm going to win, we'll see. I always hope I'm going to win, but we'll see if it actually happens. Have Big Guns and Insects got enough going for them? I don't think they have here. I don't think, they, I don't think Big Guns and Insects can take this lot down. I think we've only really got a Gorehammer left now. The Gorehammer's all they've got left. He's gone. I think that's pretty much it now. I think this one's done. And Gaming Garrison take round one. Round two. Let's get close into the action here. Boys, I need a thumbnail for this video. Let's get in close and hope I can get one. Beautiful. Lots of action on the screen. Perfect. Clickety-click. Thumbnail time, baby. Thumbnail time. 
Yep. Maybe. 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 I don't know. Anyway, let's get back away from the action now. Too close. Too close. Can we see a surprise for big guns and insects if, by getting themselves a round on the board here? The second the Brachiosaurus dies, is game over. I think all they've got left is pretty much the Brachiosaurus already. Brachiosaurus can't like, take this lockdown. He can't take like, an elephant. He's gone. There we go. Convincing and unexpected... Um, sorry, expected even victory there. And this one finishes big guns and insects. Nil, the gaming garrison two. The final matchup of part one of Game Week 17 sees Toasters take on Tyosha's pets. Big game this one. This could actually determine who may or may not miss out on the top 10 yet. Toasters currently on 11 wins out of 16 on 33 points. Tyosha's pets on 10 wins out of 16 on 30 points. But they came so, so close to beating Metaslayers last week, Tyosha's pets. They've been a very up and down team this season. They literally were rammed away from taking them down but couldn't manage it. And Metaslayers stayed unbeaten for another week. But Tyosha's pets were one of the closest to, so, so far to get anywhere to get near them. But will they have enough in the tank here to get through this one? They need to, because they've got to catch up to Toasters. They can beat Toasters here, they will go above them if they if they win 2-0. They win 1-0, they won't. They'll be below them on round difference. Who's left here for both teams? Who is left? We've got Scorpion left. Is it just the Rocky left here? No, he's gone. And Toasters has taken down Tyosha's pets. That is just what Toasters needed. Not good for Tyosha's pets at all. Round number two, Noah, Reapers of Blood, manager, owner, whatever you want to call him. This is a good news for you right now, buddy, because if, if Tyosha's Pets lose this one and you win your match, it'll get you three points ahead of uh, Tyosha's Pets with just six games remaining. Gives you more of a chance of making that top ten. Tyosha's Pets are on the cusp. It looks like it's going to be like a three or four horse race here between Team Rebirth, Toasters, Tyosha's Pets, Reapers of Blood, maybe Ronaldo X Fan Club, or after losing earlier on today. They're not looking too good. But this is dominant. Wow, Toasters have come back fighting here. And Tyosha's Pets, after being so unlucky last week, have been annihilated here. And this one finishes Toasters 2, Tyosha's Pets 0. So the race for a top 10 finish continues to throw in some upsets. Tyosha's Pets, maybe not surprisingly, losing to Toasters. But Ronaldo Rex Fan Club's defeat to General Giants has really put a spanner in the works for them. They're now three points behind with Reapers of Blood still to play tomorrow. Results here very good for Reapers of Blood who have got Argos Dragos in part two of the video. Gaming Garrison now up to 36 points also with um, Skeps Goons after Skeps Goons lost today to protect the president. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If you did, make sure you tune back in for part two, which will be out very, very soon. Make sure you smash the subscribe, hit the like button, and also hit the notification bell if you hit the subscribe button they always work well together and until next time guys thank you ever so much for watching cheers all bye